the self-realized person, the topic. Arjuna said, O oh Krishna, will you please describe a person of steady wisdom, one whose mind is not disturbed by anything and abides in the self? How do such people interact with the world? He wants to know what 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 are these? How are he actually? I've I've sophisticated his answer here a little bit. He actually says, you know, how do they walk? How do they talk? How do they eat? How do they sleep? Mm -hmm. <laughs> he thinks maybe they're, you know, really weird or different from everybody else. Huh? You know. And and he wants to know now. Obviously, he doesn't know. And the reason they present this and throughout this throughout the text, every every so many pages, every so many verses, there's a, this topic: the self-realized person keeps coming up over and over and over again. Now, actually, there's no self-realized persons. <laughs> actually, right? If reality is non-dual, there's only one awareness, and you're it. So, you're already realized. You're already the self. You're already the light. So to say you're a self-realized person is ridiculous because you're not a person. <laughs> but remember, we've forgotten, we don't know that fact, and we've taken ourselves to be the apparent person. So insofar as we are apparent people, <laughs> how would we function if we knew who we were? That's the question. That's what he wants to know. How, as a person, would I function if I knew I was this? Because what the hell use is it? Unless you know it makes your life work. Unless life is, you know, because that's the only reason we're pursuing this. Arjuna, he's a, he's a business guy. He's a rajasic person. He wants to know, what's the advantage here? What am I going to get out of this? That's the guy inside that always asking you, what can I get out of this? <laughs> Isn't it? <laughs> You're, the, you're not in the spiritual world just for, you know, for your health. You want huh? <laughs> you're, you're in it because you think there's something to gain. Hmm? So how's it going to look when I know who I am? So these, these descriptions are descriptions of a self-realized person, hmm? but they're meant to be taken as sadhanas. Sadhanas means as things as things that you can develop or cultivate in yourself. In other words, the attitudes that a self-realized person has about life, about action, its results, and everything else, those you can assume, safely assume, to be your own and take them to be your own and think and act from that point of view, even though you're not 100% convinced that it's true, right? Because what will that do? That'll what? Teach you who you are. In other words, you're going to fake it until you make it. <laughs> huh? So instead of walking around saying, I'm a miserable little worm and, and I want enlightenment, you take the position that I'm okay. You, you, you assume these attitudes here and you see if that, those attitudes don't work a lot better in the Dharma field than this attitude that I'm a miserable, suffering, needy, desiring little worm. Mm -hmm.